Hello everyone, I'm the Criminal Nurture and welcome to Going Medieval. Going Medieval is a base building game, kind of like RimWorld in a way, set in a medieval setting. Um, I played this game some when it was in an alpha setting and the developers have given me a key and we're, uh, they're, they're coming up close to release. Release is going to happen on June 1st, um, but you know, we got a little bit of a head start here. I'm excited to see... Oh, I wasn't actually in the window there. Um, I'm excited to see what changes have happened since the uh, the alpha. Let's just do a standard game, just to start with. We'll do a, a standard game. Nope, don't want to. We'll do a new life. Each settler has a story about the past they left far behind, but now this tattered group is common goal. We'll build a new home together. First time players, sort of me. Starts in spring, get some meals, some stuff, some equipment, three settlers. All right. Ooh, okay. Hillside, valley, valley. Fault size. All right, well, let's just go with uh, Folksworth. That's a good name. There you go. Let's see how this goes. Um, I don't want, I would like people, I don't know really what exactly we're looking for here yet. You know, basically, slightly close to the first time playing. Infirm Gourmet doesn't seem like somebody I want. Can I? That is randomized, okay. Punch Drunk. You share alcohol with Red Wind, expect a black eye or worse, he's an angry drunk. Elf shot. It's got back pain. Snow White. David loves nothing more than biting air on crisp frost in midwinter. He thrives in the cold. He's a gourmet. So they eat a little bit more, but they're better at cooking. Okay with you. You're wise and congenial. <clears throat> Punch drunk. Moribund. Smells bad. And gets up early. Let's, uh, randomize you a little bit. Brawler. Melee combat. Early bird. He gets drunk really easily. Alright, we're gonna go with this. I don't know entirely if this is a good thing or not, but we're just gonna, we'll go with these three. Why not? Plague has ravaged the British Isles, leaving a trail of dev destruction in its wake. Untold millions go into an early grave, and those left standing were plunged into poverty, brutally scarred by the horrors that they witnessed. Nothing would ever be the same again. As the earth quickened in spring of the year 1353, Stanley, Gwen, and David set off to the wilderness to claim a piece of the land for their own, as was their right in the eyes of God and under the law. Here they may lay down foundations for some kind of future, perhaps hope will follow. Good land is there for the taking in all four corners of the once mighty land citizens rebuild and the hopes of horrors of the past few years can be left behind. It's possible there will be fighting, drought, sickness, hunger, but what of it? Life goes on, says Gwyn, and so must we. After the travails, they are, after many travails, they arrived in the valley with golden plains cut through a snaking river. For David, it was a conjured visions of bountiful harvest, song, and wine. A place to put down roots, a homeland, he decided to call it. They decided to title it Folksworth. All right, so let's, yes. Move around, arrow keys, yes. Go up and down layers. Game speed controls, thank you. All right, let's pause it. Let's take a look around. So we're here. This whole area looks pretty flat, as if it's some sort of valley. So we've got multiple underground layers. <laughs> What's this? Is this is clay. Limestone. So I think we'll probably just settle more or less here in the middle. Seems like the best plan for it. Base, production, furniture, leisure. Miscellaneous warfare zones. All right, so let's do a give me a default stockpile zone like here Just to just have a place to put things 
Dumping stockpile warfare. Okay, let's put a dumping stockpile over here. I have to tell you guys to take tools. I don't really remember how that works exactly. Fine linen, linen gavasson. Put that on. All right, let me see our people here. Manage. Use the manage panel to determine items and auto equip. Okay, so pause here. You are. You have a 12 in melee, a 3 in marksman, so you definitely don't need. You're gonna melee. Two handed melee weapon. All shields. Well, it's not really gonna follow, is it? All armor. I'm gonna put everybody on all armor. Three in marksman. You have a nine in, in marksman, so you're gonna be ranged. No shield. Let's give you one handed with all shields. Alright. Hopefully they'll, they'll just take care of that themselves. Oh, we got a neighborhood. We got some other settlements. That's new. There definitely was not that in the... Forbid and allow, yes. That is just like... There. Allow. Put it in big piles. Alright, I suppose we should probably build these people houses, huh? <laughs> At least some place to, to hang out. Alright, you guys are gonna just be in a in a big big house by your all together f to begin with, and then we'll probably turn that into like a, a main meeting area or something. Eat. Oh, they are just one size. Oh, there we go. No, double size. There you go. Do that first. <clears throat> then we'll go from there. Uh, we should probably plant some food, though, huh? How do you plant food? Campfire. I think that's like a stockpile type, right? Usually it's like, it's a variation on the stockpile. Jobs, yes, I understand this. This is like RimWorld. Schedule, yes. Okay. Yeah, there's some mushrooms. <clears throat> when you get a moment. I don't have beds. You mean because there are zero beds? That definitely is usually not enough of them. Here's some hay sleeping spots. One, two, three. Is there like a mass cancel? <clears throat> back over there. Alright, I guess I'll let them finish that first and then we'll worry about the roof. One job at a time. Let's go a little faster. Hey, Stanley got a uh, construction skill upgrade. Way to go, Stanley. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's get these trees out of the middle of the house. So things we don't really need. So I know, I know how orders and construction work. Thank you. That is not even, is it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Oh well. <laughs> First time building the house. We'll do better in the future. So, it looks like maybe it needs supports. We'll just support in the middle of the room. Nope. Whatever that problem was, it's not that. Roof needs two or more rests upon order to be placed. What does that mean? Her roof. Keep in the wrong buttons here. I don't understand this bit. What if I build it the other direction? What if we build the house, the roof this way? Well, it still doesn't like this one corner over here for some reason, but I think that'll get at least get the roof covered. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Am I, I'm at the top layer already. We got the achievement, get a room, so I'm guessing that means that that room is actually fully enclosed. What is this? Forbidden stick pile. The forbidden stick pile. Alright, so we got a little bit going on here. Let's get some actual stuff in here, huh? Let's get a campfire. I assume that's okay being inside. Um, actually, let's not... Let's not risk that. Um... Put the campfire right here. I will put a table in here. A couple of stools next to it. Those are just do three stools, that way everyone can sit if they need to. Here, have a, uh, a wooden torch. Right, stand those, stand these up to level six. We'll go to sleep. If you're tired, 
Okay, you're, oh, you don't go to sleep until the 2300. Okay, that's fine. You know what, go to bed at 2200. Let's try that instead. Lady, why are you not going to bed? Gwen, go to sleep. Day's over. Oh, Stanley turned 53. Happy birthday, Stanley. I wonder if that was on, was getting, like, if, if somehow another I accidentally placed that at some point and it wasn't, I didn't, wasn't seeing it, so I didn't know that it needed to go away. Kind of like how I accidentally placed these back here for no reason. <laughs> Should have turned on the roof while I was messing with it. So let's put you on a one one handed because you don't seem we don't seem to have any two handed weapons right now. Oh, production. So start a work job. Do we have anything? Meal? I don't think we have any. Do it until we have ten meals. I'll leave that that way. I don't think that's gonna happen though. Yeah, I think probably what happened was that we ended up pr placing um, that wall at some point. And I didn't notice it. There you go. We'll mix that in and then it'll be good to go. Clay brazier, some warfare stuff. Settlers are idle. Oh no! Idle hands are the devil's playthings. Here, cut these plants. Hunt, cut plants, deconstruct, cancel, allow, harvest, harvest out here. Somebody, somebody kill this guy when you get a chance. Let's turn this off. Oh, you can turn the trees off. That's interesting. Put the tree table down. So you need a basic research bench, huh? All the important stuff. Little stool there for people to sit on while you're working. Alright, you can do this forever. If you got meat, you got meat, butcher it. That's what I say. Good enough for my grandpappy, it was good enough for me. Mushrooms. Oh, that's right, you like, um... You make chronicles? Yeah, unlock new building options and production types and various research panels. Unlocked research items will not consume the books. Various forms of knowledge in the form of books are available to unlock the research items. Take care of your books. Having them destroyed or stolen will disable unlocking it. So it's gotten to this mechanic where you actually have... You actually make books. Which then you, you like put together to... Uh, to, to do stuff, I guess. It's <laughs> the way it works. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. Novice researcher. So we now have wooden beams that we can build, which would be kind of cool. We don't really need them, but they would be, uh, they'd be decorative, I guess. <laughs> decorative beams. Botany level's going up. So in, actually in research, we need to get agriculture is what we need to get. Looks like we need 15, 15 books, 
Or 15 whatever is for that. Here. Make me 15. Wins on it. On enough resources. That's fine. Um, let's actually look at our, at our jobs now. Since we've... Oh, you're clearly construction. Have this have this problem that I often have in RimWorld too, where it's like the the person who is the best at the thing. Um, everybody hauls is uh the best at everything. It's always like the, there's a there's a clearly a, a dominant character. <laughs> Chopping them up. All right, so. Bed-wise, do we have any better beds that I could build instead of the... Uh... Looks like the answer is no. We probably have to research them. All right, everybody gets to sleep on the floor. It's fine. We could put wooden floors down. That might make people every a little bit happier. Here, everybody gets... Let's do some wooden floors. How are we feeling, by the way? Is there a way to tell? Inventory... Skills, attributes, stats, mood, here we go. Initial optimism, aid at a table, deprived of entertainment, deprived of religious activities. Okay, so that's, I think, both under here. Let me make a bad backgammon table. Put that right there. Give them a little something to do. Overlay? Oh, room types legend. Shared bedroom, bedroom. Interesting. S slowly we'll learn what all these various bits and pieces are. The old hay piles. I'm gonna guess that we probably don't want to leave them out lying in the fields. We probably need like a storehouse. Would be my guess. But we'll figure it out. We, I don't, we really don't need any, we need like all these trees gone. They're in the way of the base. Bunny rabbits. At some point, we'll need to start mining, but that's not a thing that we need to worry about at the moment. And you can dig underground. You can have underground bases. Which seems kind of interesting, but... Maybe we'll, we'll dig a, like a storehouse underground or something. In the future. What that noise was. Research a oh, research available. Agriculture. Unlock. Nice. So we don't have so far don't have like Oh we get cabbage fields. We don't have a place to put unmarked grave, pyre, fence. We don't have like a bookcase yet. That's what I was thinking of. All right, let's get a let's get a cabbage field going, huh? And actually, we got a bunch of different. We got cabbage, we got flax, carrots, beets, barley, herbs, red currant shrubs, tall grass, and birch trees. All right, let's start with cabbage. Anyway, three by three cabbage. Three by three carrots by three beets. I have no idea what, if this is a good amount. I have a feeling it probably isn't. Three 
but you know, got some options here. Tutorial mood. Mood represents your settler's happiness. Be sure to keep them happy. If a settler's mood reaches zero, they will leave the settlement. Oh, that's not good. So do I have to schedule their leisure? Everybody would have two hours of leisure at the end of the day. I feel like they'll do it as needed if you're not... Um... If you don't schedule it. At least that's how it works in RimWorld, but I don't guess I don't know for sure that's the way it's going to work here. Cut plants. All right, let's we'll stop here for today. Uh, this is going medieval. Releases on June first. You should check it out when it comes out. We'll play, definitely be playing more. So if you want to see more, uh, hit that subscribe button, and you'll get to see some more. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.